Well, my first reaction when I was invited to be part of the project was that I really didn't think I could do it because um, I had never worked in a, in a group situation before or I was afraid that it was really going to be a group situation because so many people were involved in it. So um, actually, I turned it down the first when I was asked. And um, then a year later, I regretted that I had turned it down. And uh, I got in touch with Frederick again, and um, so that's, that's what happened. And I began to work, and um, I found that I was able to really do it my own way. I did it my own way. Um, I did it with the kind of help that I wanted to have. And um, uh, I'm very pleased with how it all came out. What surprised me the most about Israel and the West Bank was the number of different kinds of groups and people that I encountered. Um, I was especially fascinated with the fact that there were so many different kinds of Africans in Israel. Africans not only from Ethiopia, who were the, uh, who are citizens of Israel, but um, <clears throat> communities from Sierra Leone, from Ghana, and, and then another, another part of that was seeing the diversity of the, um, of the pilgrims who came to Israel. And um, one of the groups that I heard about, I heard and I photographed, that there, I was told that there's something like 3,000 people from Ghana come annually to the uh, pilgrim sites in Israel, Christian pilgrims. At one point, I thought about just um, photographing Christian pilgrims because I realized, I felt that most people, when they think about Israel, uh, don't realize what a stake that Christians feel in the country, just as much as uh, Jews and Muslims feel. And um, so I thought it would be interesting to explore their pilgrimages. And I did a certain amount of that, and I worked in the, um, in the old city. And I spent quite a bit of time photographing in the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. I identified my subjects, um, really, some of it was quite random. Um, in some cases, I photo for instance, I photographed at the beach, I photographed in cafes. This was in Tel Aviv. Um, in Jerusalem, um, I, I, I actually in Jerusalem, I, I photographed people whom I met through friends of mine. I always, wherever I've worked, and I have worked um, in many, in Latin America, Asia, and in many different countries, um, I'm always interested in the interior as much as I am in the exterior, and possibly more in the, I'm possibly more interested in what's going on inside of people. And actually, I don't know that because I've spoken to them at great length. It's something that I, I just have an intuition about it, and um, I always, I feel that I do better work with people that I don't really know very well, and sometimes people I've just met, and um, I have a way of, of just really wanting to have silence between us and um, just have us look at one another. And somehow through that, you know, I bring everything that I, all of my own experiences that I've had and what I know about people and then what I, what I feel about them and what I feel that, who I feel that they are to my, to my work. For me, them, the title of my book, is everyone, because I feel that everyone is a them. And people talk about them, meaning the other. And it, it's generally in a derogatory way. And I saw this happening with all kinds of people that I met. It was very hard to select pictures for the exhibition because I have about 3,000 images that I t 
3,000 pictures, and I edited these down to um, a couple of hundred uh, small prints. And then little by little, I, I kept editing. And it took me months and months um, to figure out what the book was. Well, what, first of all, I worked on a book. The book is called Them. And um, it took me months to make a general edit. And then I decided to include text as well. And I, selecting the text and working, inter, interweaving the text with the pictures was um, a, it's just a, a gigantic job, even though the texts are very short, they're very brief. Uh, I wanted them all to have significance uh, somehow to what came before them and what came after them, but at the same time they are, they are supposed to be kind of neutral in terms of the actual people on either the, the, the texts are between, are not shown with the photographs, they're, they're shown in pages in between the photographs. I hope that what people will take away from seeing my pictures, I hope that they will be, have their consciousness, consciousness um, raised and that they will think things about the place, the different kinds of people who are there. I, I hope that they'll be surprised at some of what they see. I hope that they may want to find out more on their own to read some of the very good books that are available, uh, for, written by all kinds of people, and um, to understand more. But I do think that also that my pictures in the show, that they relate to um, a general view of humanity. It's not just specifically um, Israel and the West Bank, but I think you can find a lot in them that relates to anywhere that you happen to live. <laughs>